The Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders LTD has released data on vehicle sales in the United Kingdom for September. According to the data, it appears that a specific all-electric crossover is gaining traction in the country. The Tesla Model Y has emerged as the clear winner in the EV market, but it is far from alone. Model Y was the second best-selling car in the UK with 8,315 units sold. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about Tesla Model Y being UK's second best-selling car overall in September 2022. Tesla launched the Model Y in the United Kingdom in February of this year, and it quickly rose to the top of the sales chart, becoming the best-selling vehicle in March. More than six months later, the electric SUV is still proving popular. It was the second best-selling car in the UK in September and is now the eighth most popular car in year-to-date sales. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been open about the possibility of the Model Y becoming the world's best-selling car, electric or otherwise. Many people were skeptical when Musk made his prediction, and for good reason. After all, the Model Y is a high-end vehicle and EVs are still in their infancy. However, if the SMMT data from September 2022 is any indication, the Tesla Model Y appears to have what it takes to disrupt and possibly even dominate the overall auto market. With 8,315 units sold, the Model Y finished September as the UK's second best-selling car overall, trailing only the ubiquitous Nissan Quashag, which sold 9,311. According to the SMMT data, the Model Y is the odd one out in the UK's list of best-selling vehicles. This is due to the fact that the all-electric crossover is the only premium vehicle on the SMMT's top 10 list. The rest are more affordable vehicles, such as the Ford Puma and the Kia Sportage, which are priced significantly lower than the Model Y. Tesla is gaining traction in the United Kingdom, where the electric vehicle manufacturer has sold 32,218 vehicles so far this year. This equates to 2.67% market share in the UK's overall auto segment. In comparison, Tesla sold 22,148 vehicles in the United Kingdom last year, giving the company a market share of 1.68%. Because the year isn't over yet, Tesla expects to sell even more vehicles in the UK in the coming months. The Model Y's popularity in the United Kingdom foreshadows the country's impending shift to electric vehicles. According to Mike House, chief executive of the SMMT, September is a historic month for the UK because it marks the millionth electric car on the road, with facilities like Gigafactory Berlin potentially exporting Model Y vehicles to countries like the UK. The country's EV momentum may grow even stronger. In September, Britain's millionth electric car hit the road, marking an important milestone in the transition to zero emission mobility. Because battery electric vehicles account for only a small portion of cars on the road, we must ensure that every lever is pulled to encourage motorists to make the switch if our green goals are to be met," said the SMMT executive. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. Tesla's electric vehicle prices have been quite volatile, especially in light of the pandemic. While Tesla's electric cars appeared to be becoming more affordable a few years ago, the company's supply chain crisis and other headwinds have resulted in vehicles such as the Model S becoming more expensive. Moneybarn, a UK-based vehicle finance firm, recently shared one of its recent studies with Tesla Rati. The company chose to track the price changes of the UK's most popular all-electric vehicles, and what they discovered was quite interesting. According to the findings of the study, the price inflation of the country's popular EVs has been quite incredible. Tesla's vehicles were among those that saw significant price increases. The Tesla Model S, for example, saw the second largest EV price increase in the country at 32.48%. This was understandable given that Teslas are among the most popular premium electric vehicles on the road. The Tesla Model S's price in the UK has risen from £71,700 to £94,990 in the last three years. Other vehicles in the company's stable have also seen price increases over the last three years. From 2019 to 2022, the Model X's price increased by 25.14% from £81,500 to £101,990. The Model 3, Tesla's entry-level vehicle, saw a 20.87% price increase over the same period, starting at £38,050 in 2019 and rising to £45,990 in 2022. 
Surprisingly, the electric car with the greatest price increase from 2019 to 2022 was not a premium EV like Tesla's lineup. Instead, the affordable Renault Zoe had the highest three-year inflation rate of 39.12%. The vehicle's price rose from 21,920 pounds in 2019 to 30,495 pounds in 2022. While the price increases for Tesla Model S and Model X are quite eye-watering, it should be noted that the car themselves have also improved significantly over time. The same is true for cars like the Model 3. The differences may be subtle, but Tesla's produced today include features, software, and in some cases hardware that were not available in their predecessors. With the most recent changes, a fully equipped Tesla Model Y now costs more than $87,000. That is more than the previous price of Tesla's flagship Model S sedan. The Tesla Model Y, arguably the EV maker's most rapidly rising vehicle, has seen some significant price increases. The Model Y long range's starting price has been reduced by $3,000 to $65,990, while the Model Y performance starting price has been increased by $2,000 to $69,990. This effectively meant that a fully loaded Tesla Model Y performance with red multi coat paint, white interior, full self driving beta, and a full set of optional accessories now costs $87,440 before destination and dock fees. The Vauxhall Corsa is still a few months away from being crowned Britain's best-selling car for 2022, but it is holding its own. However, the Nissan Qashqai has recently delivered some impressive numbers, making it a significant threat as we approach the end of the year. September was a particularly successful month for the Qashqai, allowing the mid-size SUV to leapfrog its Ford Puma rival to second place. The introduction of the innovative Qashqai e-power hybrid is likely to accelerate these already impressive figures. For what seemed like an eternity, the Ford Fiesta was at the top of the UK's best-selling car list, but it hasn't finished in the top 10 since 2020. Instead, it has been the Puma's responsibility to spearhead the Blue Oval sales push. Britain's 8th best-selling car in 2021 is doing even better in 2022, and it remains Ford's top performer. In 2021, the Kia Sportage finished 9th overall, becoming Britain's 3rd most popular SUV. This year began brightly, but a poor February caused it to lose first place. The latest Sportage was introduced earlier this year, and the figures indicate that it is still popular with customers. The Mini had an astonishingly successful 2021, finishing 3rd in overall sales. The all-electric model has helped boost sales, and we think it's a premium, well-built, and charming super mini. We think the Hyundai Tucson is so good that we gave it the coveted mid-size SUV of the year, title at our new car awards for the second year in a row. The Tucson's newfound upmarket approach makes it a tempting purchase for a whole new set of customers in 2022, and it continues to pose a genuine threat to rivals like the Ford Kuga. Surprisingly, the base Model S, the company's flagship sedan, was briefly available for $69,400 in 2020. It wasn't just the Tesla Model Y that saw a price increase. Some changes were also made to the Model S, Model 3, and Model X. The Model X long range now starts at $120,990, $6,000 more than before. The Model S long range now starts at $104,990, $5,000 more than before. And the Model 3 long range now starts at $57,990, $2,000 more than before. Tesla has not disclosed the specific reasons for its recent price increases, but speculation suggests that it is likely due to ongoing supply chain issues, which have also harmed other automakers in the market. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd love to know whether you are a fan of the Tesla Model Y. Will it be replaced any sooner? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in